Hello, and welcome to another second grade episode of Math Matters. I'm Ms. Beckett, and in today's lesson, we are going to estimate and find the sum and difference of two digit numbers and create and solve single and multi step story problems. As you follow along today, think about how you are able to use an efficient strategy to solve problems. You will have an opportunity to reflect on your learning at the end of the lesson. In today's lesson, we invite you to continue working on your portrait of a graduate skills as you listen closely to the different strategies shared and see what connections you can make to your own ideas. As a creative and critical thinker, it will be helpful for you to see how you can think about problems in new and different ways. For today's lesson, you will need some paper and a pencil. I will give you a few seconds to grab those things now. Let's get started. On the screen is a bundle of popsicle sticks. How many sticks do you predict are in the bundle? There are 10 sticks in each bundle. We will use these bundles to help us count. Since each bundle has 10 sticks, we will be counting by tens. Count with me as you see the bundles come onto the screen. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Now we will count backwards. Count with me as the bundles disappear. 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, zero. Now how many do you see? That's right, it's four sticks. This time we will start with four sticks on the screen and add bundles each time. Count with me as you see the bundles come onto the screen. Four, 14, 24, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84. Now we will count backwards by tens. Count with me as the bundles disappear. 84, 74, 64, 54, 44, 34, 24, 14, four. What number do you see? 73. We will start with 73 and add two bundles. How many do we have now? 93. How did you think about it? Maybe you counted 73, 83, 93. Or maybe you knew seven tens and two tens is nine tens or 90. And then there were already three ones. The ones place didn't change. What equation could we write to match what we just did? We started with 73 and added 20. Now we have 93. Let's try another one. What number is this? 27. Now what do you see? That's right, we added four bundles. How many do we have all together now? 67. How did you think about that? Maybe you counted 27, 37, 47, 57, 67. Or maybe you knew two tens and four tens is six tens or 60. And then there were already seven ones. So the value in the ones place didn't change. What equation could we write to match what we just did? 
We started with 27 and added 40, and now we have 67. What do you notice? I see 51. If I were to take away three bundles, how many would we have? We'd have 21. How did you think about it? Maybe you counted backwards by tens. 51, 41, 31, 21. Or maybe you knew five tens minus three tens is two tens or 20. There was already one stick with a value of one. So the value in the ones place didn't change. What equation could we write to match what we just did? We started with 51 and subtracted three tens or 30. And now we have 21. You did such a great job with the bundles and sticks. Let's use what we know to solve this story problem. I have 48 markers and my teacher gave me three more packages that came in groups of 10. How many markers do I have now? I will pause here to give you some time to solve this story. Let's come back together and talk about our strategies. I bet you noticed that there were 48 markers to start with. Then if the teacher gives three more packages of 10 markers, how many would that be? That's right, you get 30 more markers. Which equation matches what's happening in this story? You started with 48 markers and got 30 more. So 48 plus 30 equals the number of markers you have now. How did you think about how to solve for the number of markers that you have now? Maybe you thought about the bundles and sticks we counted with before. If I have 48 and add three more groups of 10, I could count 48, 10 more is 58, 10 more 68, 10 more 78. So 48, 58, 68, 78, 78 markers. Or maybe you thought about the four tens and three tens is seven tens or 70. And there are eight markers left. So 70 plus eight more equals 78. I really enjoyed talking about the strategies for the markers task. Let's look at one more task. I had 65 hamburgers at my barbecue. There were 10 hamburgers in each box. My friends came and ate four boxes of hamburgers. How many hamburgers are left? I will pause here to give you time to solve it. Remember, you have your paper and pencil to share your thinking. Let's come back together and talk about our strategies. Here are the 65 hamburgers we started with. I know the story told us that four boxes of hamburgers were eaten. 
I know four groups of 10 is 40. So 40 hamburgers were eaten. What equation matches what is happening in this story? We started with 65, then four groups of 10 or 40 burgers were eaten. So the equation 65 minus 40 matches our story. What strategy did you use to figure out the number of burgers left? Maybe you thought about counting backwards by tens like in our bundles and sticks warm up today. 65, 55, 45, 35, 25. So 25 hamburgers are left. Or maybe you thought about six tens, 60, minus four tens, 40, is 20. But our ones place didn't change. We still have five burgers here. So 20 plus five equals 25. You had some great thinking around our hamburger problem with 65 minus 40. How might you use what we just did to solve this problem, 65 minus 47? I will give you some time to think about a strategy you have for solving this equation. If you've thought about one way to solve it, think about another strategy you could use. Let's come back together. From the hamburger problem, I know 65 minus 40 is easier for me to think about since I just need to subtract tens. So I will use that to help me. As you follow along, think about your portrait of a graduate communicator skills and how you can make connections to what you see or hear. Maybe your strategy was the same. Maybe it was different. 47 can be split into its tens and ones. So 40 and seven. I know that 65 minus 40 is 25. Because of the two ways we thought about the hamburger problem from before. We've taken away the 40, so what do we still have left to take away? The seven. Now we're at 25, and if we take away seven, what do we have left? I know 25 minus five brings me to 20. Then I have to take away two more. So that makes 18. If you thought about a different strategy to solve 65 minus 47, I would love to hear it. You can share it with someone at home or even your teacher next time you're able to check in. Today's lesson was a review of how we can use a strategy to find the sum and difference of two digit numbers and create and solve story problems. Reflect on your progress towards our learning goals by selecting which emoji best matches how you're feeling about today's lesson. A smiley emoji if you got it and are feeling good. A thinking emoji if you think you understand but need some more practice. And the confused emoji if you feel like you have more questions or could use some help with today's lesson. As you think about the learning goals for today, maybe there is something new you learned like a new strategy that you don't want to forget to try next time. Or maybe there's something we talked about today that you still have questions about. Take a minute to record your reflections on today's lesson and save them for the next time you are able to check in with your teacher. Mathematicians are creative and critical thinkers, always looking for connections and new ways to solve problems. What new connections did you make today? Did you challenge yourself to try a new strategy? Thank you for joining me for today's second grade episode of Math Matters. I'm Miss Beckett, and I can't wait to do math again with you tomorrow. Have a great day, and keep on counting.